Okay, I am sitting here on the west side of San Antonio uh, off of Houston and Spring Street, West Houston and Spring Street in 78207. And I am sitting here with um, with my grandma, but uh, her name is, can you share your name? Rosa Guzman. Um, and what is your, you've got a middle initial? B. For Rosa Bass Guzman. Okay, and Bass is your... My last name. Your maiden name. My, uh-huh. Okay. Um, so, this is um, an interview for the UTSA West Side Sound Oral History Project, um, where we are documenting oral histories for the West Side Sound, music on the West Side, um, and, and, the, and the, the different um, types of music that people heard coming out of here. And, and, and where you'll hear the different translations and things from all the different interviews. Um, are you okay with us using this video for our project? Yes. Yes. It's okay. Okay. Um, so you've got photos with you, um, and so we'll go through some of those. But first, um, first I will uh, just ask you a few questions about yourself, about your background, and then um, and then we'll get going. Does that does that sound good? Yes, cool. That's right. <laughs> um, this is a very open, like like comfortable conversation. You don't have to be like nervous or anything so just let me know if you want us to uh, take a break um so rosa guzman would um can you tell me where you're from i'm here from san antonio texas were you born and raised here yes i was born and raised here in the west side okay where uh, where about in la calle uh, remolino chipinque querétaro and morelia so you were raised in those areas yes um did you go to school around here is what did you go to school around here yes i went to edu Elementary school, the one that's in Cabos Rodríguez, For elementary school or just like elementary. elementary, elementary and middle. Okay, um, high school. Did you go to high school there, or did you you didn't go no, to high school? I didn't go to high school. Okay, um, and so you consider yourself from the west side? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Uh, nine. Total. Total. Uh, my mom had uh, about fifteen, but. Uh, the rest of them died, and 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 that's it. Yeah, it's almost ten of us. How how old are you now? I I'll be thirty. I mean, I'll be seventy-seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Oh my God. Um, so you're turn uh, seventy. You'll be turning seventy-seven soon. Um, did you tell me your birthday? Uh, my birthday is April 9, nineteen forty-five. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let me see. So I'm, we're, of course, having conversations about West Side Sound and asking questions about that, but um, at the same time trying to just share a little bit of the history of the people that are coming in front of us to, to do these videos. Um, is there anything you want to want to share share with any, us about about growing up on the West Side? I, I grew up in the West Side uh, right there by Edgewood Elementary and... Um, and I had a lot of brothers and sisters, and most of them are already married and gone. And I'm the last of the the last of the gang. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still have other siblings that are alive, right? That are what? Alive. Yeah, all of them are. Yeah. The mas, the mas uh, one. Two, three, about four died, five. Yeah. Um, do you do you think that when you were growing up, did you listen to music? I listened to music since I was little, little girl. My mom was the queen of the mambo, and there was always music at the house. And my uncle was uh, uh, singing with Los Panchos, and there was music day and night. And did you did up. you enjoy that music? What? Did you like it? Yeah, I love that. Uh, uh, I love all that music in in Spanish and and uh, I love to see my mom dancing the mambo and all of that. And and then I ran away because I was fed up with the music. And then <laughs> I, I end up with the king of the mambo, no king of the twist. <laughs> <laughs> and who was that? My daddy, my husband. What was his name? Uh, Santiago J. Guzman. Uh, do you know when he was born? He was born in La Calle uh, Colima, 2810 Colima. 
Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, and, uh, yeah, and Colima and Hamilton. Colima and Hamilton. And, uh, and we used to go to all kinds of dances and, uh, and El Tourist and, uh, and every... What, uh, what is that, the, the Tourist? The Tourist Nightclub. Oh, okay. So that was somewhere you went to... Yeah, Talk to me. What, what was that like, going to the Tourist? That was uh, music for, like, for teenagers. We were not teenagers anymore, but we enjoyed going to that music. What type of music was it? It was the music, the the Sonny Osuna, the Joe Bravo, and the Little Joe. It muchos, muchos, uh, the movies, no movie stars, but singers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 um, I forgot what was the name of the other ones. Yeah. But there was a lot of guys I used to sing and uh, we enjoyed all that music. Definitely. Um, so that was at the tourist. What other what other clubs and stuff did you go to? Uh, Not just here in San Antonio, but you you told me you y'all went to yeah, different places, we, right? We used to go to another club que estaba in, in, in uh, downtown que se llamaba El Navy, and um, and uh, El Rainbow, and uh, all of those clubs que eran for young young people. Yeah. And we enjoyed that music. And um, you you brought some pictures from the clubs, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So you want to show us some of those? Tell me what they are. Yeah, this, this is uh, this is Lydia Mendoza. You can raise it up a little bit if you want. A little bit more. There you go. So who is in that picture there? Lydia Mendoza and and uh, um. Somebody that used to uh, dance like Cantinflas and me, and um, this is a uh, el dad of uh, Alejandra Guzman. Oh, okay. What was his name? Is it on the back there? Carlos Carlos Guzman. Does it have a date when you when those pictures are from? Uh, no, no, tiene date. We okay. were too busy uh, having fun that I didn't have time for it. <laughs> you didn't think, let me go put a date on there? No, no, I didn't. No, there was, this was just about a lot of uh, people dancing when, uh, when uh, the Sonia Suna used to play. And when uh, a lot of people that got together with, uh, when the Veniala Sonora Santanera. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know. They, this is the, the, Policeman, the the security guard, right there at the uh, at the patio andaluz. Oh, okay. So you went there. Um, yeah. What what is the? So you mentioned Sunny, Joe Bravo. You know, I don't know if you said Joe Posada. Some of those artists. What do you, what type of music is that to you? That's a, uh, a Spanish music and all kinds of uh, happy music. And this is El Palomo y El Gorrión. They used to play very often. Uh, and all those nice Who, Who's in the picture there? You or, or? This is Daddy, Daddy Juan El Palomo y El Gorrión. Yeah, este es, este es otro de, de Cantinflitas que, que, oh no, este es Little Joe y, y si Cantinflitas y, y Daddy, my husband. Is Cantinflitas the same as Cantinflas or is he different? Eh, eh, bueno, imitador nomás, he used to imitate Cantinflas. Oh, okay. Cantim flin flitas? Yeah. What else do you have there? This is a... Uh, no, it's a Johnny the... the oh, <laughs> you can you can show me. This is Johnny el que era... The, tenía el sarape in, in Dallas. Oh, okay. So... He so, had a lot of music too oh. that... that uh, all the music that we're playing here... They used to go to Dallas. So why why were y'all going to those clubs in Dallas and stuff? Was did y'all have a connection or did you just go for fun? Uh, we just went for fun. Did yeah. Did you say that 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 your husband was a photographer too? Yeah, he was. He was a photographer of the the El Sarape nightclub. Which is and, where? Uh, and then he started um, he he started taking pictures right on uh, about nineteen sixty. In 63 until about 
Okay. All of them up there in, in Dallas? Yeah, all of them up in uh -huh. Dallas. Some of them were here too because I couldn't find the pictures of Sonia Osuna, but I have a lot of pictures of Sonia Osuna. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people refer to that music, you know, Sonia Osuna and Joe Bravo and some of those others. And the Sunliners. Uh, the Sunliners as, as West Side Sound. Have you heard that before, West Side Sound? Yes, I heard about West Side Sound. So what do you, to you, what is West Side Sound? It, it was, for me, it was a, a very uh, happy place to go. Uh, a happy um, nightclub to be around a lot of youngsters. Uh, so, so like here in San Antonio and other places, or yeah, here um, some of them were downtown and some and La Calle Buena Vista. Ahí estaba el tourist and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of places that we went all over town. Yeah, um, do you do you think that you did that music have an influence on your life? Yes, because. Uh, uh, no more because it was very happy music that that everybody used to listen to. Yeah. And is it is it something you kept listening to as you got older? Yes, uh huh. I used to listen to all that music because uh, my uncle started singing too, and uh, and so there was music in my house all the time. Um, what were some of your favorite favorite bands or favorite groups or songs that were West Side Sound? So that. That you know that you mentioned Joe Bravo, you mentioned Sunny and the Sunliners. What were some of your favorites? My favorite was Sunny and the Sunliners, and I have a, a lot of pictures that that uh, I am uh, with him, and uh, that's why. But I don't have him with me right now. But I have a lot of pictures with Sunny Osuna. Do you have any favorite songs um, of of Sunny's? Yeah, the, I used to play the album de de las ciudades. Así se llamaba el first. One of the first albums que grabó, que grabó uh, Sunny. The, the, that had a lot of uh, songs in Spanish and English. And what was it called? Las Ciudades. Las Ciudades. Was there a specific song that you liked? That's, uh -huh. Oh, that was the song. That wasn't that was the album. The song, uh -huh, the, uh -huh, y, uh, I don't remember the, all of them, but I like that album. Do you, remember, do you remember how that song goes or no? No. Um, do you, do you think that, you know, you, you mentioned that song, um, and you mentioned Sonny, what were some of the other favorites that you had in that genre of music? Uh, Joe Bravo, I used to sing, uh, I used to uh, listen to him a lot because he was the kind of guy that, um, that he used to sing the sad songs, and he used to cry when he was singing that, some of the sad songs. I didn't and, know uh, uh, and he was a very, very, very happy person. Do you have any favorite songs of his? Uh, no, I just listen to all, all his music. Yeah. Um, I was interviewing someone recently, and they said that it was you couldn't go to a quinceañera without hearing que casualidad every single time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, did you did you know that song? Uh, no. Que casualidad. And then they that was one of the songs they sang, yeah. No, the Joe Bravo. No, it's era the Sunny. Oh, okay. The Joe Bravo, I don't remember, but he had a lot of beautiful songs. Yeah. Um, what do you think is special about that music? Because it was the music of our teenage years, and uh, and uh, they they don't play that kind of music anymore. What do you mean by that? Well, it's que time. There's a new music now, and uh, this generation have uh, their own music, and they don't care very much about about uh, this Mexican music and all of that. So that music is from our, our oldies, from our old time. You think it's it's unique? Do you find it unique that music? It is uh -huh, very unique, very beautiful because it has a lot of it has words. And and the new generation music has a lot of bad words and all of that. So this is this music was very special way back then. You think it's still special now? I think it's special for, on our old for oldies for our uh, oldies like me. What is, what does it do for you when you hear that music? 
Namasi brings me uh, very good memories of my teenage years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do you think that that music, that the West Side Sound music, uh, is representative of San Antonio? Do you think that when people hear that music, they know that's San Antonio? Yeah, they do, and they start mentioning those places that they used to go to, and uh, oh, singing all those kind of uh, music that remind them about our good old days and all the the things that that uh, we used to do, mm -hmm. and uh, places, other places that. We used to hang around. Um, why do you think that there are fans of this type of music now? Like, now we're seeing, I don't know if you, you noticed, but we see um, a lot of people going to record shops and to buy things like that. What do you think is special about that music that now younger people are getting into that? Yeah, well, the, some people didn't keep all those, uh, the, all those music there a long, long time ago, in the 60s. And uh, and so they now they're they're um, they remember the good old days and they they're trying to to buy that music and and keep it for for their good old days and uh, some of those people they don't have their wives and or their husbands from uh, from the 1960s anymore but the music remind them of of all the the fun that we used to have. Yeah. In, is it is that what it remind is that what happens to you? Yeah, uh -huh. that uh, that was very happy music and uh, a lot of happy memories. Mm -hmm. And nowadays the teenagers, I don't think the teenagers think about about the that time of the of the good old days. Yeah. Um, so your husband was in the military, right? Yeah, he was in the military, but he was a a boxer in nineteen sixty and uh and he used to uh visit a lot of places and uh everywhere he visited he took pictures of of all those people from long time ago okay yeah. did you you know if the music this music you know the little joe and 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 the the west side music you know if that helped him through the time that he was in the military? Yeah, he did. He did because uh, he was he was in the military, and uh, he was always uh, uh, right, when he was writing me, and he would just uh, write me with all the names of all the songs that that were right there at that time. Um. So I guess it, you know we've I've asked some questions about West Side Sound and about the music particularly. Um, one of the things that interests me and that others share a lot about is how people dressed back then when they were listening to this music or when they were going to the to the violas and and things like that. Do you remember about how they dressed, how the guys dressed, how the girls dressed? They they were dressed like like the people that they call cholos now, because they used to wear those saggy pants and those beautiful shirts, and they used to uh, wear a a chain. Changed with a with a old uh, old watch or some they they used to dress different but they were very very nice. Yeah. Very beautiful. You said cholo. I think some people say um, like like pachuco is one of the words that I hear stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they used to. So uh, that was the guys. What about the girls? How would the women dress back then? They used to wear those uh, those skirts that have a little dog, a poodle dog, and and bobby socks and. Uh, Black and white shoes. What is that, bobby socks? I've bobby never heard of that. Bobby socks are the ones that go to to right here, white, that goes to the top. And, so they're uh, they're almost knee high. Yeah, almost knee high, and uh, yeah, and there was a there was a guy right there, very well known guy, General Guero Polvos. He was around all of us all the time, and. Was he, what was he, a musician or a dancer or what? He, he was mostly a dancer. He used to dance with everybody and he used to be very, very famous uh, around us. As soon as uh, we got to the dances, we used to ask for him and there he was. And there was a lot of other people that, uh, that were constantly there with, with all of us. Were there mostly Mexicanos or Chicanos at these dances, or were there other people yeah, there? Yeah, Mexicanos, mostly Mexicanos, que, que they used to enjoy uh, our 
dances and uh, the way the the singers and all of that. Yeah. Pero ya no hay ya no hay uh, gente de los 1960s. Ya no hay uh, este, musicians ni nada ya se están acabando. Yeah. Yeah, there it's it seems different these days. Were there were there special dances that you think would would come out? So some people mentioned like the stroll. Were there certain dances that you would y'all would do? Uh -huh, the, the the twist and the the um, a, a lot of uh, the mashed potatoes and all those dances. A lot of people used to dance the mashed potatoes. Yeah. Um. How did folks usually get to these dances? Did they drive? Did they walk? Did they take the bike? They, they had all kinds of dances and they had a lot of uh, uh, their own ways of dancing. But of getting there, like transportation, was it different back then? Would you just go to the place, you know, down the street from your house or would you go around town to go to these no, dances? No, we used to go downtown and some people didn't have cars way back then. Daddy had uh, 1949 uh, a uh, little car and uh, we used to go everywhere on the bus and whatever we never uh, we were never asking for no we can't go to a dance because we don't have a car we just we were th there and weekends most of the time mm -hmm. so y'all made it happen yeah we did we made it happen uh -huh. um if you weren't at the dances or at the vitalists how did you listen to this music? What what we had we had those other kind of radios from long time ago, and uh, way back then we didn't care about television, but uh, we had a uh, black and white TV, but uh, most of the time it was our music. So it was radios and anything else, radios, just radio. The Maza and boombox, yeah, the La Vitrola, and I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> what, is, what is that? A Vitrola? Yeah, boombox. It's a boombox. Uh huh. And, uh, Did you listen to vinyl records back then? Vinyl. The records, the LPs? Oh yeah, albums. Uh -huh. albums? We used to uh -huh. Uh -huh, listen to the albums and the Joe, Little Joey, the Joe Bravo, the uh, Sandy and all of those. It was a very happy music. Yeah. Um, did you... Do your family also listen to all this music? Your siblings and your parents and stuff? Yeah, my my, my mom and my uncles and and uh, my grandma and all, all those people, we, they used to listen to music day and night. And there was a, some babies that couldn't go to sleep if the music was not on. <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, and there was music all the time. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm I'm trying to think a little bit. Um, did you use music ever to, to get you through situations? Like get you through, you know, a difficult time? Did you use some of this music that we're talking about? Uh, we, we never had any kind of, uh, difficult times because it was a happy time way back then and, uh, and everyone would listen to music and to just, be happy all the time and there's there's not that happy time anymore well that's what i'm saying so nowadays if you're thinking about something sad or frustrating or whatever do you use this music to like yes, help you I, uh -huh, I, I put some of those happy music and uh and remember the good old days and uh that's it the most it makes me happy after a sad time yeah um do you think the the way that you think about music is different because you were raised here on the west side? Yes, I, uh, I. What do you What do you think other people thought about the music you listen to? The the uh, people never thought about uh, about all um, old 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 music. No matter about the music that was nineteen sixties to to seventy. Yeah. That's it, and. Uh, uh, there was a lot of happy, happy people that never, that used to listen to music, and that's it. Never listened to na, nada como ahora que que no más no no ahora no piensan no piensan ni tampoco oyen los uh, those, uh, uh, 
music, the viejitos, the for a long time ago. You think that's what that's what younger people think about yeah, that music? They have, yeah, the younger you, people. Do you think this music is gonna stay around for a long time, or you think it it's is, gonna it you is, think it'll fade away? It's gonna stay around because um, because I can see that a lot of there's still a lot of people that uh, that still listen to the old music. Younger people? Yeah, yo, there's some young people that listen to the old songs and and they look for or they're very happy when they hear that there's a musician like. Sunny or La Little Joe, they they uh, get around. Well, they're happy to go yeah. wherever they are because that that reminds us of, of our good old days. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think of of what I was. Oh, so uh, now if you're looking for some of this music, some of that older music, where do you go to find it? I go to to record shops. That I see that they have uh, big albums and, and uh, that I know that they like that kind of old music. Yeah. Do you know any of the names of any of the record shops you go to? No, most Janie's, Janie's record shop on, what's the name of that street? Uh, on, on Bandera. Uh-huh, on Bandera, uh huh. That they have all kinds of music, but especially our music mm -hmm. from long, long, long time ago. Yeah. Um... I, I, I don't know that I have any other specific questions for you, but is there anything else you want to share about about music in your life or, or the West Side Sound? Uh, no, they just uh, bring my good memories about when I was in school and and about everywhere we used to dance. Now that, uh, that our ancestors are gone and daddy, my, my husband uh, died too, and so uh, how how long ago was that? Um, uh, around nineteen, oh no, two thousand, and year two thousand, and uh, then for me, I think that our music uh, died with all our, our the the people that from long time ago, from our era, they died, and and that's it. No, you said two thousand. Did did he die in two thousand? Yeah, two thousand seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um, so you say it dies with those people, but do you, did you pass it on to your kids? Do your kids listen to any of this music? They, they don't want to listen to, to oldies. They don't want, they don't like our, our kind of music. They don't, since they don't recognize the music, they just don't care very much about it. They care about this music, the little 1900s, and no, they don't, uh, they don't care very much about movie stars or, or our oldies como Sunny and Little Joe and all of those. Those they don't know they don't know those kind of musicians and uh, music uh, from from that era. Yeah. Um, what about your grandkids? No, not even my my grandkids. The más the más mi niño mi Jeremy es el único que le encanta esa música y y que, que la, uh, se la aprende y, y la canta <laughs> para que otra gente sepa que, que él sí le gusta la música de, de más antes y la música de, de uh, our, our time. Pero the rest of my grandkids no, no les gusta, ni la quieren oír, ni quieren saber nada de más antes. <laughs> um, well... Unless there's anything else you want to, are there any more pictures there that you didn't show us that you want to uh, you want to share? No, the rest of them are just uh, people that that are musicians at that time. Como este que era era big man and the night people. He 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 también no no. ¿Cómo se llamaba este? Um, um, ¿Cómo se llamaba el el que cantaba el music mucho mucho de más antes también. Este, um, no, I don't remember. But there, there's still a lot of uh, of the old singers from long time ago. Mm -hmm. Some of them still live, and they uh, try to remind us about those good old days and the time and all that. And uh, and we enjoy here uh, listening to that music from from old singers, old people yeah. that sing like, como Sani Osuna is still alive, and he's he still sings those songs. The concerts and stuff. Todos esas y este y y 
y son los únicos como Little Joe y como Asani en pues ya falleció Joe Bravo pero como just era, recently right just recently uh, and uh, and um, he used to start uh, again because he disappeared for a while pero he started singing again those uh, music from the 1960s mm -hmm. yeah um, well, well, unless you have anything else you want to share, um, thank you for sitting down and taking the time to be a part of this interview. Um, we're going to post these, these videos with the UTSA library that will be saved with, with them. Um, and with your permission, I think I'm gonna, we're going to scan some of the photos that you showed during the interview in so that we can share those with others so that they can see them. Um, any last words? Anything else you want to share? Uh, no, no más que I wish the, the record shops and uh, and the uh, radio shops, uh, I wish they could uh, play those songs from the 1960 more often so this new generation could uh, start listening to what the parents and grandparents used to listen to at that time. Yep. And uh, maybe the record shops uh, realize that uh, that music is disappearing, so maybe they're, they're they play the music more often, and and, uh, and and maybe that this new generation uh, start realizing what the parents and grandparents used to go through, and used to sing and, and those happy days and all that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with me, and um, and I'm gonna stop the interview here. <laughs>